Welcome back to another video. Today we will learn how to move a KUKA robot uh, without an SIB safety board and X11 interface. Mainly we will configure with Profinet and Profisafe, but you can also configure it with CIP safety over Ethernet IP or FSOE a safety over Ethercat. As long as you have at least one of the safety configuration, you can bypass it with a startup mode. Let me show you guys. We'll start by connecting the work visual to the robot controller. And to do that, we'll need to know the IP. So we go into configuration, change it into expert or any other group. And then uh, we go back into the startup uh, network configuration. There we will see the IP. In this case is 192, 168, 50 and 205. So you can do this uh, with your uh, any network adapter. Uh, I'm connected with a cable, so we use the Ethernet configuration and change the IP address. Here, as you can see, uh, the IP address in our network is 137. And now that we are in the same network, uh, in the 50, uh, we can connect to the robot. So we connect to any work visual project. I will select the current one. As we know, the current one is uh, working already. Uh, we'll have uh, less errors. So because we only need to add the Profinet network and enable Profisafe. So uh, we'll let the uh, work visual load the project and then we double click on security control. This will open all of the bus structure in the KUKA controller and you will see that uh, mainly it's ethercad uh, so we right click on the uh, structure of the bus and add profinet in my case i already have it so i just double click on profinet and you will see the menu to activate the pile for profinet uh, double click here we go and we activate that option and then uh, in the first selection a profit safe uh, 2.4 is fine so in this case, uh, this is the current project. I will delete the safety board and then add the Profinet. Um, like I was saying, uh, now the Profinet is in the bus structure and we activate the Profinet pipe for devices. And in this case, Profisafe is already uh, selected, but by default it's not uh, enabled. This is because previously it was uh, configured with Profisafe. And now we just load the project into the controller. In the smart part, uh, you will have uh, some prompts to, uh, to override the current project, just uh, say yes. It will save your current project also, so just don't worry. And now uh, it will tell you what are the differences uh, between the current project and the new project. Just select uh, you want to modify, yes, and that you're sure. And now once you let uh, the controller reload the current project, it will, you will have the new project that you just loaded from the laptop. And now, you just need to make sure that you have a safety bridge in the A1X311. You will need this jumper connection. And that's basically it. If you want to control your KUKA with a PLC, this is what you will need to do. And now we're back in the beginning, we change the user group and if you haven't uh, configured all the security signals, uh, the emergency stop will be there, the, there will be a red bar on the top. But if you enter the startup mode, you can bypass these uh, security settings and you can move the robot as if it were configured. As you can see in startup mode, uh, you press the deadman switch and everything lights up green the axis and you can move the robot with no problem and here is uh, just in case if you uh, click on the X on the top you will uh, exit the remote desktop so you'll just need to go back into the button uh, select RTP and then connect so if you want to see the errors or warning messages and these are my errors that I have currently mainly that the emergency signals have not been configured and that there's no connection to the PLC and that's it for today I hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, as always, please like and subscribe. If you have any doubts, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. See you in the next video.